Guys, the first quarter of 2024 is in the books. And I know I'm a little late on it because I started the new job and I haven't had a chance to sit down and do this yet, but we're gonna look at my five favorite knives so far, first quarter of 2024. Let's turn this around and take a look at them from above. All right, guys, like I said in the intro, we're gonna look at my five favorite knives so far of 2024, and we're gonna save my favorite two for last. So let's go ahead and start cracking into it right here with the Katsu Knives ZK04. Now they did send this to me. I'm in love with this knife. This is a ZDP 189 core 17 layer Damascus titanium lock scale with frame lock, super smooth action. And it's done in the gold camo fat carbon fiber. This is a beautiful knife. This thing came razor, razor sharp. Katsu is making knives that I think are at a level of performance that is equal to Rockstead as far as performance. Now, as far as the flourishes and things like that, the mirror, mirror polish, no. But as far as a functional knife, every bit is good. ZDP 189 at 67 Rockwell, just like a Rockstead. It is done with a fairly mirror polish, but they are so sharp, full convex grind. Now their knives do have a bit of an edge bevel on them. I don't mind that because when I sharpen it, that's what I'm gonna do if the knife starts to get a little bit thicker as it transitions back, which convex grinds have a tendency to do, then I will address that and I will reprofile the entire knife myself. But these come incredibly sharp. Action on them, just beautifully smooth. It uses a top flipper tab that's on there that is just it's a brilliant, brilliant way to do it. You can use it as an impromptu glass breaker if you need to. It gives you really good access to it. It is one of the few front locks or front uh, top flippers, I should say, that I can actually use my index finger on and I don't dislike. It's actually a very smooth, very controllable action. In hand, just beautiful. Jimping on this is pretty good. And then you get into that beautiful, beautiful blade. The ZDP 189 this with, that's on this comes with a heat treat certification, letting you know how it was done, what Rockwell. This one come in at 67 Rockwell. Good jimping on these knives. Some of the best made knives you're going to find and you're not going to break the bank. I think this one was 310 maybe. I don't know. There'll be a link down below so you can check it out. But yeah, just a brilliant, brilliant knife for the money. So let's go ahead and move on to the next knife, which is probably one of the best budget folders on the market right now. This is the Mini Nightshade by Vosteed Knives absolutely destroys the, in my opinion, absolutely destroys the full-size version. I think this is the perfect version of this knife. This one is in 14C28N gray G10 with one of the best crossbar locks, like the actual like Omega spring style crossbar locks you're ever going to come across. One of the smoothest knives I've ever owned with a crossbar lock. Beautiful thumb studs on this. The blade is a leaf style blade that comes down and it is at a very strong downward angle, which kind of is off-putting to some people. But when it comes down to it, this is an absolute cutter. It's almost got a Kukri-esque look to it, but this thing is in hand, one of the most comfortable knives to cut with. It is done brilliantly by the guys over at Vosti. It's super, super light because it doesn't have a full steel liner, only a steel liner up here where you've got your actual access lock and then a little bit of an aluminum backspacer here, aluminum thumb studs and everything. And then just disappears in your pocket with this deeper style pocket clip, which is reversible. This is a great knife to put in your watch pocket, but it also is a knife that even in your watch pocket, you've got a big time cutter. This is a knife that does, it, it feels bigger than it actually is when you're using it. It's just an amazing knife. I can't tell you how impressed I am with this mini version of the nightshade. The grind on it, Vosteed's grinds are always really good, nice and thin, and it came incredibly sharp. I have had to resharpen this because I carry it and use it a lot. And I gotta say their 14C28N takes an incredible edge, holds it really well. This is probably one of my most carried knives 
uh, smaller knives of uh, 2024, it spends almost every day in my watch pocket. You don't always see it in the night shift knife guy dro pocket drops, but it typically is in my watch pocket. So let's go ahead and move on to the next knife, which is a little bit of a higher end offering. And it is a knife that I have said is a perfect self-defense tool. This is the Dirk Pinkerton inversion. It is a folding picol and it flies out of the pocket with this very, very nicely done uh, brass wave feature on this, Emerson wave style feature. Uh, and it just flies out of the pocket. You've got this nicely done modified Warren Cliff with a slight recurve, just super, super good cutting potential. The action on it, just incredibly smooth. Uh, it's done in titanium and S35 VN. They are serialized. And it is a just just the perfect self-defense tool. Picals are great. If you don't want to carry a fixed blade picol, this is the best folding knife for self-defense, in my opinion, because it's just it's a thoughtless action. Like how you use this is perfect. There are so many configurations you can put this knife in. It comes with another pocket clip. You can actually adjust the depth of the pocket clip. You can remove this ring if you want. You could put both pocket clips on it so you can just go in and out of pocket because the screws are in there. It also comes with a thumb disc if you don't like this particular wave feature that's on it. And it's even still got a flipper tab. There is so much thought that Dirk put into this and I just really love this. This is a knife that I would recommend to anyone that wants a self-defense knife that's willing to train and learn how to use it. This would be the perfect storm of things in a pocket folding knife for self-defense. And in, when you've got it open, just the thought that went into even you've got this thumb ramp here where you just put your thumb so that basically it's like adding a it's like adding a metal spur to a fighting cock when they do chicken fights uh, like you know i know that's illegal but like it's the same kind of thing it just basically turns a hammer fist into a devastating weapon and a hammer fist is just the easiest thing you're ever going to do for self-defense so flipper tab completely disappears just a just a super well thought out self-defense tool right there and i mean i can i just can't tell you how much i appreciate finally getting an actual purpose-built self-defense tool that doesn't compromise so let's go ahead and move on to the last two which are my two favorite knives of 2024 so far and right now it's really hard to say because it's so close on these next two knives but this is right now my runner up this is the Wii Knives OAO designed by Tashi Barucha, done with the, the jungle, the jungle fat carbon fiber, I think it's jungle wear fat, fat carbon fiber. I don't typically like green on a knife, but it looks really good on this. This is an incredible knife. Wii Knives executed this knife spectacularly. I'm going to tell you, I don't like integrals and I love this knife. This is the lightest integral you're going to find. As a matter of fact, this as an integral is lighter than a lot of my other knives because they've removed so much material for these fat carbon fiber overlays, scale overlays. And they're just done brilliantly with these dovetails that hold them in place. So you only need one screw to hold this all together. And then all your hardware is underneath. The blade on this is done in 20 CV with a satin, a hand satin on it. Now, I have used this knife, and it has not scratched as badly as I would have thought. There's some, but this thing came so ridiculously sharp from the factory. Well, actually, it came from Tashi Barucha himself, and I was so impressed with how sharp it was. I actually have sharpened it because I've used it. It is a nested frame lock, so it, it's, it's not a liner lock. It is a, it's a nested frame lock because it does have the scale overlays. So that's not technically a liner because it is part of the frame, but just the, oh man, the action on it. Do you guys, I know that my microphone's farther away now, but you can still hear that that just slams open and then just in hand buttery. It just, it looks like it would be angular and sharp. No, it's just about perfect in hand and it is absolutely gorgeous. But like I always say, Toshi's designs always bridge that gap between art and functionality so incredibly well. This is a very good knife. It, they named it the one and only because if you are someone that is going to just drop that money, this may be the only knife you ever need. So let's go ahead and move on to what is currently my favorite knife of 2024.
And I think every one of you saw this coming. It is the Microtech Knives Amphibian. I liked this knife so much that when one came in for a review, I fell in love with it so much that I bought one. This is my personal one. It is done in the fluted aluminum with the ram lock. It's titanium and steel here on your lock bar and your pocket clip and your backspacer and your thumb studs. Aluminum fluted scales. They do some of the best aluminum work on the market. They are just really nailing it with this. I don't see any issues with this. It is done in their proprietary M390 MK steel, uh, which some people are saying is a softer, crappier version of M390. I'm not finding that to be the case. I have used this knife a lot. It seems to be holding up really well with just some minor stropping and a quick pass on a ceramic rod. The comfort levels in hand on this are amazing. And the fact is Microtech knives have dropped in price over the last few years while other companies are going up 100% American-made, just like Benchmade, but Benchmade is now going crazy and charging $700 for a knife that they released years and years ago because it's the 25th anniversary. Microtech is stepping into dropping their prices and still providing that level of quality. The Ram Lock on this is incredible. It is probably the best crossbar or axis style lock you're going to find, which technically it still is, even though it's a plunger style, this is amazing. And it's only going to get better because you have so much space for this to transition in as this knife wears, you're not going to get lock rock, you're not going to get blade play. It's simply going to last you a lifetime. And not only is it just stellar in the way it looks, and it's just a stunner of a knife, Comfort wise, this is one of the best and most comfortable knives I've ever owned. It's a larger knife, does not feel like it. If you're looking for something that you can use for day to day carry and kind of a self defense tool, this is it. It is beautifully done with this recurve, nice and thin behind the edge, terrifyingly sharp out of the box. The action on it is incredible. It's got reversible thumb studs, or I'm just double sided thumb studs because it is ambidextrous with one of the best pocket clips on the market and it's reversible. And when you get down to how uh, Microtech does their hard coat anno, I know that hard coat anno on aluminum is basically the same on every uh, on every knife from every company, but something about theirs just seems to hold up forever and not just give up. And just, I can't tell you how much I love this knife. This is currently the knife that spends the most time in my pocket of any other knife I own at the moment. So with that being said, I don't want to go too far into this. There's other videos about this knife on my channel if you want to check them out. Uh, but there'll be links to all these knives down below. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. God, I love this thing. So there you go, guys. And like I said, this is so far my current pick for knife of the year 2024. It's going to take a lot to, un to dethrone the Microtech Amphibian. This is such a good knife. And I, I've liked Microtech knives for years, and they just seem to keep nailing it. And when they get it right, holy cow, do they get it right. So with that being said, you guys know what to do. You got to support the channel by sharing, liking, subscribing. Just do stuff with interact with the videos. Drop a comment. You can go down and check out Tempered Trail, Coffee Brand Coffee. Those links are technically sponsor links. I'm not putting ads in, so I don't have to notify you guys. But those links have discounts built in. I also have a discount coupon code that saves you 40% at Beyond EDC Knives, 10% at Katsu Knives, 10% at Rosecraft Blades, and 10% at Farron Forge Knifeworks. And that coupon code is crazy sharp, all lowercase, all one word. I have affiliate links to most of the major vendors down below and an Amazon store. Take those links, pin them to your browser, any of the shopping you do, knife or otherwise, please use those links. It doesn't cost anything extra. I have a membership down below where you can get in on exclusive content. Uh, premium sharpening tutorial series. I do giveaways and I have a private discord and I have a public discord that I've built. That's down in the description below. It says join the community. If you've got questions or if you want to get knives on the channel, you can always hit me up there. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.